Okay, tada for lava, my moana shrinky here, Miss Samoa, giving a quick shout out to Becca Yosefa and all of the YouTube followers, sending all my love and Manuile Aso. La upelea po fea oe. Wole fa alomo si ole oe. Manuile bao se tau sangi ma. after 4 a.m. Um, so we thought we'd leave our Airbnb at um, 3 o'clock to get here in time. So we were told that Alex's flight was going to land at 3.15 a.m. Um, but uh, must have been delayed or something. So we are on time and we are still waiting for Alex to come out. So um, this is a little surprise um, that we have for him this morning. Um, so Alex has decided to come to Samoa to support her brother on his Malofia journey. So um, I think she was getting FOMO, so she just paid her fare last minute, um, you know, because she's rich like that. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we are just waiting for Alex to come out um, and then we will head off to surprise Lul in a couple of hours. So Daniel has to fall for him today. Uh, I think that is for 6 a.m. And then, so yeah, so we will see you guys there. We'll hopefully get a reaction of a video of Alex walking out. And she's probably going to get so pissed off that um, we're recording her she when she walks out. <laughs> so yeah. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye. And there she is, right? Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> This one from the airport this morning <laughs> did the surprise uh, now we're going to breakfast in Lotto Bar Cafe Cafe 10 in Lotto Bar 
Oh, yeah. So we're still walking. <laughs> so we're going to Cafe 10, uh, which was a cafe that was recommended um, in Lotopa, which luckily is just around the corner from Lewin Ev's Airbnb, which is just behind us. So we will see what the breakfast is like. Oh, well, yeah, look at that freaking view there. That's beautiful. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We like Kokole and Sofai and stuff. So they quite popular. You'll see around where they have um, setups like this in front of like the supermarkets and that. Um, where you can get like takeaway um, breakfast. You can get like Kokole as well. So it's got the signs. Oh, yeah. Kokole. Uh, Cool, nice. It's in there probably a different family here as well, which is pretty cool. But we're going to the cafe. We should... Maybe we'll try this out another day. Main road in Apia, you'll see like the big Mormon temple. So, Cafe 10's just on that road, so uh, Motopa Road. So, you turn turn right at the lights if you're going towards Apia. That's Cafe 10. Nice. So this is the menu. And this is the mutton. So this is the local pancakes. So you've got some siam so coconut jam with your cream, and Daniel got the jumbo brekkie. So that is the jumbo brekkie. Up to stomach, yeah, I'm open. I just didn't like waiting. Huh? This is the eggs benedict with salmon. Piece of fruit as well. So good. Yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Because I know that he's. No, that would have done this kid will just wait for Yeah. This kid yeah. will like wait for us. He'll be like a seagull after he gets his food. He'll be like. Oh, like you. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we're going to the cafe. Yeah. Cafe 10. 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 Eight and a half for the pancakes. <laughs> yeah. Ten. And ten <laughs> for the eggs benedict. <laughs> now, review after. What? So I just cut up the bananas, put the shamu popo on the pancakes, and chopped up the cream. And I just had a bite. And oh my goodness. So far. You see? This is the poop. The best big brick you have. Then I couldn't wait to see Lou. So, <laughs> in Samoa? Fuck, anywhere. Oh, wow. Holy shit. I knew I was here. 
So it's called the Jumbo Bricky. Cafe this 10 Jumbo Bricky. This bread here. Mm. It's the butter just melts in your mouth. That looks so funny. I had to hold my laughter. <laughs> Nine and a half. Nine and a half. Nine and a half. And that is how good our breakfast was. <laughs> Nothing left. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. I don't think I'm going to be able to have breakfast anywhere else in Samoa. That breakfast was a 10 out of 10 from me. I highly recommend Cafe 10 in Lotopa. You guys. And we didn't even try like the full menu. That was just from what we had. Yeah, that was good, man. That's the best. Big brekkie, the bread, everything. Everything was good, man. Nine and a half. I don't know what 10 is, but yeah, I'll just give it a nine and a half. It was near perfect. Quality and quantity, not bakaya, beautiful. Hey guys, so second stop for today. We're here at Nourish Cafe town so this was another place that was recommended so we are here for lunch um it's just after two o'clock uh we just went home and had a bit of a nap so we thought we'd come and check out this one uh, while we're driving around town so let's see how we go okay so here is the menu so they have some okra as well I love the vibes in this place. The aesthetic is so relaxing. So the poke bowl with tuna. What's next? Hmm? What's next? Um, the crumb, the eggplant, and uh, it's got the fish and chips. Which one? I don't know. Oh, yeah, you did. That's good. Uh, Nourish. 
provide with food and all other substance necessary for growth, health and wellness. How beautiful is that painting? I can't even zoom in. <laughs> Alright, so Alex Fish and Chips was a 6 out of 10, and the Oka a 7 out of 10. I guess with the Oka, it depends like what kind of Oka you grew up with as well. Then you're like, just gonna compare every Yeah, so if your family's used to, or if you're used to, if you're brought up eating Oka from your mom and that or whatever grandma, aunties or whoever that's your uka you know so, so that, that's pretty good pretty good rating for, for uka because I don't know I like my mom's uka did you record Alex doing her rating? her rating? I did it on behalf of you yeah, okay. uh, um, so for my pokeball I give it a 7 and for the eggplant I give it a 6 Um, so this is the outdoor area so this is the restroom just in there um, they've got some tables outside um, so if you've got kids they also have like a nourish playhouse so that's really cool so they can play in it's not really play cool, in there it's... and it's got um, aircon in there too so keep the little ones entertained um, if they don't want to eat or if they're finished eating so this is just walking out to our car they have car park right in the front or you can park on the opposite side of the road um, so if you want to know where Nourish Cafe is um, it's just opposite Pinaki so Pinaki is just on the left there just after that sign so after the bridge turn left uh, Pinaki is there so that's where Nourish Cafe is which goes by now I'm here again Stay in your lane, period What's that in my stack? Which goes by now I'm here again Stay in your lane, period Oh, Gosh. Yeah, we've been lucky, but it is always what you read in the comments. He's like, I'm waiting for someone to say something. <laughs> okay. Okay, from Samaka. <laughs> Okay, so we've just arrived at Lu and Ev's Airbnb in Lotopa. Um, so we've just left Nourish Cafe. Um, so I just wanted to follow up on that. That um, yeah, so I highly recommend Nourish Cafe. Uh, it looks like they have a lot of like vegan options there as well for those who are vegan, vegetarian, gluten free. So they offer all of those options. Um, yeah, so the food was great. I enjoyed it. Drinks, eggplant, chips. Oh, the crispy eggplant wasn't crispy enough for me. So they were just a bit soggy. But other than that, my meal was fantastic. So thanks, Nourish Cafe. So check it out, guys. Max, 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 um, so, so far, Lou has had three sessions um, and he has a day off today and a day off tomorrow.
Tony does. Forgot what day it is because uh, we haven't been doing much. Friday. <laughs> Friday today. So we're just on our way to Tommy Tommy Tommy. Tongi Tongi Nga Waterfalls and I think there's a Sopoanga Waterfalls on the way so we're just on the crossroad um, the cross island road cross island road so hopefully this car makes it um, to our destination in there so we haven't been um, all the way up cross island road before so this is our first time cutting through to get to the other side so going through cross island road to Tongi Tongi Nga waterfall it takes about 40 minutes um, but if we were to go the other way around which goes past Whanifa like Buell and all that um, it's about an hour and a half so um, apparently this road goes uphill then downhill and it's a dangerous road um, so we will be careful So we've just stopped on the way to Tongi Tongi Nga Waterfalls because um, we've come by the Baha'i House of Worship um, which is of Baha'i Faith which I think um, is Arabic. Um, so that is the House of Worship just behind me and the design is in the shape of a lotus flower which um, resembles purity and beauty in many cultures. Um, so as you drive on Cross Island Road, so that's coming from Apia, um, you'll see the temple it's just on your right hand side, which is just here. Um, so we thought we'd stop and just have a look. The grounds are beautiful. Um, the gardens are well kept. Don't know if we're going to go all the way inside, but I just wanted to give you guys a look. And there it is so hopefully we can get some drone footage so you can see the lotus flower shape that I was talking about um, that's the design of it If I 
Baha'i faith doesn't have like a specific figure of worship um, so it's open to all religions so um, it's pretty much a place where anyone of any religion can come and um, pray meditate or seek inspiration so it's open to everyone I love that so there we go <laughs> So we're just going to reverse because there is a 
massive ass puddle just in case we get stuck in there um, then we're just going to try and find someone to see which way the waterfall actually is because the road splits so we are going to get that information um, so I've just walked into the visitor centre at the entrance when you drive in um, but there's no one here so I'm not sure which way it is to the waterfall so um, when you do come in here there is a guest book which you can sign so I'll show you that um, but they've got some so this is just inside the visitor centre so there's no one here uh, there's just a book here that people have been signing in from all over the world. So if you do come here, you will see Becca and Daniel on the 19th of January going to the falls, if we find it. So, yeah. Okay, we made it. We are here at Tongi Tonginga Waterfall. Um, so we couldn't drive in because we weren't sure how deep that puddle was but it looks oh. like you can drive through but so if you come just past the visitor center keep going straight um, and then you'll see the that sign that I just showed you um, and you can just park there so we are just walking in now look at all that greenery is so beautiful how luscious hey This is the national flower of Samoa, the Tewila. Tewila Samoa. is here not yes families uh, they've got toilets as well so it looks like if they have a barbecue area as well um, these are what the fallies look like so there's heaps of room you can bring your fella the seating. So this is the top view of the pool. guys so from the entry um, it's about a 10 minute flat walk to get to the actual waterfall I don't think you have to pay because I've been trying to look for someone to pay an entry fee so it looks like it's free entry um, to the waterfall um, it's beautiful there's so many fallers as well so probably just a bit of a hike if you're bringing like food in that but it's nice and then you've got a piece of areas to swim in as well in the waterfall so we've got um, we've got two like two main drops that we can see and heaps of room like for people to swim so good good it's worth worth the trip across the okay so 
just on the what we were just saying before about the walk up the 10 minute to the actual waterfall um so probably wear crocs because it's quite rocky when you're walking um i know crocs don't go with everyone's outfit so i just have to say um before we came um javiana's uh just released a thicker sole um thong so um it is the normal javiana journal that you get so but how thick is that sole so that actually got me through um that rocky walk so yeah so that's the thick sole javiana um and it's called the platform so that was comfortable to walk in so dan's just setting up the drone to get some footage from here it's so beautiful here so i'm just hanging out in the top part of the waterfall um, but there is a part where you can walk down um, to swim at the bottom so there is a swimming hole at the bottom um, and there's like a little cave thing where you can sit inside so it's really cool um, i'm not sure if daniel's going to go down but i'm happy up here um look at that water It's nice and cool. It's not, it's not like cold, but. Well, it's cold. But it's nice. <coughs> Just refresh before we have to drive back.
Okay, so we're on our way back to the car now. Honey, what Ooh. is your rating for Tongi Tongi uh, waterfall? Yeah, I like it. Uh, probably just under half a while out. So. Yeah, but yeah, it's nice. It's beautiful, but a little bit of a walk if you can be bothered. But the good thing is it's all flat surface, so uh, unlike um, you know, like Patasia Air and that. So yeah, I loved it. It was nice. It's beautiful and heaps of heaps of space to swim. Okay, so that was. A beautiful um, first sightseeing for the day at Tongi Tonginga Waterfalls. Uh, we've just hopped in the car and how good is it when you sit in the aircon? Um, so we're just enjoying the aircon at the moment. We are going to have some snacks. So if you're going to go sightseeing, take some snacks. So we have some chips and some peanuts. <laughs> I'm hungry as man. Hungry as. I'm going to take my gang here to um, their paradise for lunch, Pop. <laughs> that's not a bad yeah. idea. I think it's just down the road. So. Let's just see. We might go check out Return to Paradise and see if the restaurant is open. So, fingers crossed. Okay, change of plans. The Return to Paradise resort is a bit far to drive. So, we're actually here now at Coconuts Beach Club Resort and Spa. So we're going to see if they have a restaurant so we can have lunch. So we'll see. So we've just ordered lunch at Coconut Coconut Beach Club Resort and Spa. It's beautiful here, guys. It's so beautiful here. It's such a shame we're not staying here, but they have bungalows that's just over the water, um, and it's so secluded. It's nice and private. Um, so I've ordered the Coco Club salad for lunch, and Dan's ordered the club sandwich for lunch. Looks like there's the swimming pool area over here. There's like another deck there where you can sit. It's so nice. So I got a pina colada for my lunch and then an orange juice. I shouldn't be eating. Like, I shouldn't be eating. Where is it? She's got a sore stomach. I definitely recommend 
coming to Coconut Beach Resort and Spa for lunch. Um, if you're not gonna, if you're not staying here, it's nice to come out for a drive, have a look at the beach view. Um, they have a huge range of cocktails on their menu as well. Robert Louis Stevenson. So these are just some photos that are on the wall as you're walking out. Looks like it's a lounge area over here with a selection of books. Um, if you're a bookworm and you like to read, you can grab one of these books, have a seat and read your book. Got fans in here as well. It's actually nice and cool in here even though it's so open. Um, I think it's just overlooking the beach over there. So that's pretty cool. I've never come across a hotel that has a, a library. Um, then that's the reception area there uh, when you drive in. But how cool is this massive sand wobble? How cool is that? No, it's not. They also have a gift shop as well that's got some clothing and souvenirs and stuff in there. And this is just uh, where you drive in. Pass away for a child of up. So it's called coconut cargo. They sell the e lover lovers as well. That's pretty cool. Nice. Looks like a tree house. That's so cool. And that's a car there. Okay, so lunch, coconut. Coconuts, beach resort and spa. Mm -hmm. yeah, the club, club sandwich was good, like the presentation, the quality and then the quantity was just perfect. So I'll give it a nine, eight and a half. Eight, eight and, and a half for the club sandwich. So I had the, what did I have? It was like a cocoa cob salad or something the like salad that. Or something. Um, so it's, it was pretty much like a Caesar salad. Um, I think they forgot my croutons, but I'm not complaining. It was delicious. I loved it. I rate my salad a seven. A seven for my salad. So we just had a light lunch. We just wanted to stop somewhere just to get a quick bite before we drive back to Apia. Um, and this was on the way. This was the closest, so. Yeah, so it's beautiful here. It's I would nice, love man. to stay here for yeah. one night, um, but it's a bit pricey. So I did see it when I was booking our accommodation and I was like, oh, that looks so good. So I didn't actually think we we're going to come out here to this place. So I'm glad that we got to come and see. So if you don't, you know, if you can't afford to stay here, then just come for lunch, come for dinner um, and you can still enjoy the beach view. I'm sure you can still go for a swim. I didn't ask if we if we can uh, swim, sure. but I'm pretty sure you can if you come and have a meal because it's right where the restaurant is. So um, yeah, you could even make a day out of it um, and not have to spend that money um, staying here. So if you want to come out, it's a nice drive um, and the view is yeah, just it's stunning. Nice. It's beautiful. It was beautiful. So yeah. I'm glad we came out here today. Yeah. yeah. This good, good one.
Papa, 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 Chai Waterfall. <laughs> um, so we're just driving back to Apia and then we just sing. So I totally missed this sign on our way out today. So we'll just have a look. It looks like it's like a lookout to a waterfall, maybe. Um, so we'll see. So it is just like a look out from the road of that waterfall. So that's just the main road just behind us there. So that's the Cross Island Road, Fania Livia, pretty sure it is. And then this is just on the side of the road. Cool. That is just a close up of the waterfall. that um that we stopped off that we seen the sign on the road um for this waterfall because it's just so beautiful and we would have missed out on seeing this beauty so i'm so glad um that we did stop we are just enjoying the view so we'll probably hang out here for a bit um the breeze is so nice up here too so definitely stop at this waterfall on cross island road Hello. 